the Joe Rogan experience. I think of marriage as, is a certain thing, which is the um, the context for uh, for procreation, for the for the the building of the the nuclear family. What about people that get married that don't have kids? Are you opposed to that? What if they get married and they decide, you know what, we don't need kids. I'm going to get fixed. You get your tubes tied. Let's travel the world. Well, what do you mean am I opposed to it? I mean, I, I think that uh, that every married couple should be open to life. But what if but, they don't want to? Are you opposed to them being married? If marriage is only for procreation and to bond a family together, what about people that are deeply in love that never want to have children? I, I don't think it's – it's not only procreation, but that is one of the fundamental definitional uh, – uh, aspects of it uh, of course there's more to marriage just than that and what know? about people that are infertile they fall in love and they realize that they can have babies and they don't really necessarily mm -hmm. want and to they, adopt and, is that okay well, for them to be married because then you're by definition marriage falls into a completely different thing because then it's a bond of love it's a union of love sure i mean that doesn't change the nature of of marriage though it's, it's a little bit like um i say that uh, uh What's the definition of a woman? Well, a woman is someone who by her nature can conceive children in her womb and bear children. And then the response is always, well, what about women who are infertile? Does that, right. does that destroy your definition of woman? And uh, it, it doesn't because, you know, it, it's, still, it's still a woman's nature to bear children. Not every woman will. And there will be disease and infertility and, and old age and all these things that will preclude that. But it's still, it's still of her nature to do so. Um, and I would say the same thing for marriage.